won't go until it's safe. If teachers unions get to decide, your child's school probably will not be open soon. Right now, it is not safe. If I die from catching COVID-19, from being forced back into Pinellas County Schools, you can drop my dead body right here. Leave my body right here. The union stage protests and spend on ads that say opening schools means students and teachers forced to put their health and safety at risk. Forced to put their health and safety at risk. 191 countries. There is no consistent link between reopening schools and increased rates of COVID transmission. Education researcher Lindsay Burke points out that science shows schools rarely are spreading COVID. But it's logical that they would be. The kids are bunched together. The positivity rates in schools are generally below those in the broader community. Studies on tens of thousands of people do find closing schools made no difference. Close the bars and keep the schools open. Because America hasn't done that. Elementary and middle school students are falling behind. Kids are social, social animals. The lack of their ability to interact in person, to see their friends, to see their teachers is really having an impact. The less impact on children of the privilege, they often escape the shutdowns. In California, 98.8% of our schools have closed down. But not his kid's school. His kid's private school stayed open. Yeah, choice for me, but not for thee. We understand that in-person learning is more effective than online teaching, but that's not the question. The question is what is safest. The union would say it's better than people dying. But that's really not at the heart of why unions are trying to keep schools closed. It's really a question of politics. Union demands do include things unrelated to teacher safety in Los Angeles. The demands include implementing a moratorium on private schools, increasing taxes on the wealthy, implementing Medicare for all. The union said it would not bless school reopening until they defunded the police. You conservatives are just doing what you criticize liberals for doing. You're cherry picking Los Angeles, the worst extreme example of crazy teachers unions. That's not the norm. It's not just Los Angeles. The Oregon Education Association, the teachers union there said they wanted the state to halt any transfers to virtual charter schools. Virtual charters. Go ahead and read today's warm up question. Okay. So today's warm-up is, how do you use electrical currents? There's clearly not any sort of health, uh, school safety issue in a virtual setting, and yet they opposed transfers to virtual charter schools. It's telling that at a time when most businesses beg to be allowed to open. We need to reopen. We need to reopen. And non-union schools are open. Catholic schools, they opened on time in September. Government-run schools stayed closed. Why? Here's one reason. District public schools continue to receive funding regardless. Union workers get paid without having to work. Not working sometimes seems to be a goal. Union executive Sarah for Justice tweeted, teachers should stay home because school's unsafe. She tweeted while saying she was enjoying pool life in Puerto Rico. Only when it's, only when it's safe. The unions keep winning. Congress's latest stimulus package blocks any funds from going to school choice. And all over America, union schools remain closed. It is a demonstration of the power of collective action to get things done. That's nice for the unions, but it's a big loss for students, parents, and taxpayers. We ask 20 teachers unions, please appear in this video, refute what your critics say. Not one would. Happy New Year. Hope you like these videos. They exist thanks to you, people like you. So to help us make more, please press that button.